Hello, everyone. My name is Sichi Yan. I'm a software engineer at PyTorch Model DevX team at Facebook. Today, I'm going to talk about visualizing PyTorch model using TensorBoard. Here's the agenda of my talk. First, I'm going to give an overview of the TensorBoard API, then dive deep into the API to monitor training process, and then the API for model understanding tools. And last, I'm going to give a sneak peek on some of the features that's currently under development. So for overview, we have shipped native support for TensorBoard since PyTorch 1.2. Since then, we formed an ongoing close relationship with Google TensorBoard team. So the TensorBoard API in PyTorch is very easy to use. You just need to initialize the summer writer and pass in the logger representing the directory where you want to log your data into. It can either be a local directory or a remote directory like S3. And then you can use APIs like at Scala or at image to log your data. The most common use case for TensorBoard is to monitor training process. This includes using the Scala API to monitor model learning curve, QPS, or uh, CPU utils throughout training. You just need to pass in the tag name and the Scala value to the at Scala API. You can also visualize multiple Scala series in the same chart by using the multi-line chart or the margin chart API. The histogram API allows us to visualize the histogram and the distribution of tensors throughout training. This includes the model weights, activation, or gradients. Uh, you just need to pass in the tag name and the tensor value to add histogram API and then the tensor histogram and distribution will be computed automatically and logged to TensorBoard. The Im image API allow us to visualize the image training samples or the object detection boxes or the images generated from Matplotlib or Plotly throughout training. For example, people can generate the scatter plot or uh, bar chart uh, of the model prediction values through Matplotlib and convert into an image and log through the add image API. TensorBoard also have various other APIs for logging the PR curve of a model, text, video, mesh, etc. The next section is about model understanding tools in TensorBoard. The graph plugin allows us to visualize the model architecture and identify performance bottleneck. You just need to pass in a PyTorch model and input tensor, and then the model graph will be generated automatically and logged to TensorBoard. The per embedding projector plugin allows us to visualize the embedding value in a three-dimensional space. And the HPram plugin allows us to visualize the correlation between model parameters and the model performance metrics and then help us identify the mo most promising set of hyperparameters. In this example, we're using parallel coordinate view to drill down onto some of the most promising runs and identify the common traits of them in terms of hyperparameter. The what-if tool allows us to visualize large set of examples and uh, bucketize them by either the feature value or the model prediction value to help gain deep understanding into the model performance or fairness across different segments. It is fully integrated with PyTorch via the custom predict function and Torch Surf. It can be viewed both as standalone app or as the TensorBoard plugin. So the last section will cover some of the features we are currently developing and plan to bring into open source community in the near future. The profiler plugin will enable automatic model perf analysis and recommendations. It will also enable detailed view of model perf per operator and GPU kernel. The Plotly plugin will enable us to visualize the Plotly figures natively in TensorBoard. It will offer much better and more interactive user experience uh, compared with converting them to image and log through the image API. The alert plugin allows us to monitor certain model metrics across training and then get alerts automatically when they go above or below certain thresholds. 
this threshold can be either absolute threshold or derivative or comparative threshold. So that concludes my talk. To get more information on Py PyTorch TensorBoard, please visit our website at pytorch.org and look up the TensorBoard documentation and tutorial. Thanks so much for watching this video.